you have unwittingly stumbled into a duplicator lab. That lab includes three duplication stations, duplication station one, station two, and station three. You learn that there is a specific one-way traffic pattern, which is clockwise. Anything leaving station one must go to station two. Anything leaving station two must go to station three. And anything leaving station three must go to station one. There is also a large sign which displays the number of duplication events. Right now it is showing zero because no duplication events have happened. Then you notice a robot on the floor of the duplicator lab near station one. And that is where our story begins. The robot enters duplication station one. Now the rule in each of the duplication stations is the same. Everything in that station is duplicated and whatever was just created travels to the next station where again everything in that station is duplicated. That's duplication event two and whatever is created is sent to the next station. Here is duplication event three and the newly created robot is sent to station one. This is duplication event four which creates two new robots so those new robots are sent on to the next station. Duplication event five produces three new robots, which are sent to the next station. Duplication event six produces four new robots, which are sent to the next station. Duplication event seven produces six new robots. Right now, looking around the entire duplicator lab, it's easy to see that there have been seven duplication events. Also, the total number of robots is 19. And that brings us to our three riddles. Riddle one, how many total robots will there be after the 10th duplication event? This includes all of the robots in the entire lab, not the number in just one station. Riddle two, how many total robots will there be after the 12th duplication event? This includes all of the robots in the entire lab, not the number in just one station. And riddle three, the duplicator lab the entire lab, not just a single station, can hold up to 1,000 robots before it breaks down. What is the greatest number of duplication events that can take place before the lab breaks down? I invite you to answer one or two or even all three of these riddles and post your comments. Also, if you would like to download the PowerPoint slides that I'm using to tell the story, simply visit stevewyborny.com where you can get your free copy. My name is Steve Wyborny. Thank you for viewing the Duplicator Lab. Good luck solving the three riddles.